course, Lion Eye, properly so, in the new film 13 Hours, it's a big hit and so amazing, to ask, what do you think we should do? We should start a discussion about the left thinking and Soros doubling the amount of money uh, to these groups to kill cops and burn down cities. Yeah. They're planning something. So, so Chris, thank you for joining us and coming on. Sure. Obviously, everything you've done, Chris, TontoPeranto.com. I've kind of set the table the last four minutes. Yeah. Uh, where are we going with this? I, I honestly, I think right now it's just a lot of uh, lib, lib talk. I, I, it'd be really ridiculous at this point for them to, to, to try to start there's some civil war going on. I mean, you've got guys like myself, you've got plenty of contractors out there that are back home now, plenty of person, people like myself that are patriots that, that aren't gonna stand aside and let some coup, if you wanna call it that, take over. Um, uh, and also, uh, just to strengthen numbers, I, and I'll give it to you, Libs, you wanna come out, you better be of 100 of you against one of me, because that's what it's gonna take, and there are a lot of me's out there. So uh, I don't think it, it's realistic. I think, again, it's a lot of threats, and the Libs do that. They, they, they are a lot of talk, but when action comes, and it comes actually picking up a gun and doing something, uh, uh, I think if they were more inclined to protect this country, you'd probably see more of them joining the military, joining the law enforcement. And and, uh, and again, so I, I just I see it as a lot of a lot of BS, a lot of just a tough talk at this point in time. But if it comes to this, not going to be tough talk. Believe me, people like myself will stand up and we'll be coming right back at you. So I just warn them, don't, don't. just just stop that 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 BS and and, uh, and put a cork in it right now before it really ends up to getting to something that they really don't want to get into. When they're openly calling for his death everywhere, and, and my death and everybody else, and it's just horrible, at a certain point, it becomes dereliction of duty if sure. somebody doesn't get indicted, if somebody doesn't get in trouble. You know, when, when Bow Wow, you know, says, I want to kidnap and rape and enslave the first lady, or when, uh, uh, you know, his, his uncle comes out, Snoop Dogg, and says, I want to kill Trump, puts a music video out. We know he's a coward, won't do it, but he's trying yeah. to activate other mentally ill people. So, so that's why I'm so concerned. That's true, I, I, and you have a good point there. I, and in the past, if you did that, then the Secret Service be knocking at your door and possibly you'd be going to prison. I, I, I think that needs to happen. I think it needs to return. There needs to, there does need to be an example set, whether it be Snoop Dogg or somebody else out there where you're gonna say you're gonna kill the president, that's a threat. That is a terroristic threat at this point. But you can't keep letting it go, you're correct. It's, it, you've gotta lance that blister eventually. If not, it's gonna get infected. You gotta do it, and if you don't, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So I, I do agree, I do agree at this point with the threats to the president, but uh, again, do I think that they're gonna come out and actually start an all out war, a uh, civil war in the United States of America? Uh, it, they'd be well earned to not do that. I am very